Now let's talk about a few things here. Alright, let's backtrack. You have Detroit Pistons fans fighting Indiana Pacers players. All out brawl, everybody knows about it. You know, all out brawl in the arena. Alright, then you have fight a fight in Anaheim at a Los Angeles Angels baseball game this year during the first week of the season sometime you have a fight a 27 year old guy gets into a fight in the, in the right field bleachers gets hit in the back of the head falls hits his head on a concrete step dies all right and then within that same week at some point at that same stadium in the parking lot you have an off-duty police officer who ends up shooting two play uh, two fans now I don't know um, I don't know if they died I don't know but Last I checked, they 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 were in the hospital and with the result of uh, gunshot wounds. All right. Now you have <laughs> this. This is I don't understand this one, but you have Oakland Raiders fans riding the streets of Oakland because you lose the Super Bowl to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now keep this in mind. That same year, we lost. The game before that, we lost the NFC Championship game to the Buccaneers. All right, in my opinion, the worst loss in Eagles history, in my opinion. But that's that's a whole different thing. Now, you lose and you riot. Same thing in uh, what '94 when the Vancouver Canucks lost the Stanley Cup Finals to the New York Rangers. The Vancouver Canucks fans want to riot the streets of Vancouver. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Of course it does. Now. 2004 Red Sox they win their first uh, World Series in 86 years that calls for one hell of a celebration not even arguing it all right but you still got people that don't know how to act and take it a little bit too far now I don't know the reason behind it but a lady got shot and killed from a gunshot from a police officer they shot a little rubber pellet bullet and killed her all right now my whole thing is there's plenty more stories that go that happen all over the place all around the country with fights and just crazy stuff happening all around the country and, and, and you know I'm not even I'm not even touching international with them crazy psycho ass soccer fans over in Europe and down there in South America and stuff that's <laughs> I'm not even touching that. All right. But my thing is, you have all this stuff going on that I just mentioned, but you've never seen an all-out brawl in an arena with Philly fans fighting another team. Okay? I mean, the only thing I could say that would come close to that in Philly would be um, Ty Domi. And you had that fan jump the glass in the penalty box after Ty Domi squirted him with the water bottle. I don't know if the dude was drunk. I don't know what the deal was. I'm not justifying that by saying it's right, but it happened. But that's probably the closest thing that's ever happened in Philly. Never have you seen an all-out brawl with fans versus another team in Philly in any sport. All right? You have never seen Philly fans riot the streets of Philadelphia because we lost a championship game. Never. All right? You have never seen or heard of a fan being killed inside of a Philly sports arena or stadium. Fights? Yes. Fights happen in every stadium. I challenge you to find one time where someone has been killed inside the stadium, though. In Philly. Alright? Is it because we booed Santa Claus? who is a fictional character, the most fictional thing you can ever come up with. But it's wrong because Santa Claus is apparently everything right in this world. Santa Claus is just the holy grail of being right, of being good. Right, okay. A fictional character. People get pissed off because we booed a fictional character who, by the way, was the guy that played Santa Claus that day he was a drunk. He was a replacement for the original Santa Claus. 
he, he was pulled out of the stands. He was a drunk. You mean to tell me if you were to take your kids to the mall during Christmas time just to see Santa Claus, you wouldn't be pissed off if that Santa Claus was drunk? You wouldn't have nothing to say about that? Okay. Whatever. Tell that to the next fool. Now, the stadium with the jail cell and the court and the judge underneath the stadium, which was at the vet, it is no longer, just for clarification, that does no longer exist. Once Lincoln Financial Field opened, we didn't move no courtroom. We didn't build another jail cell. Alright? It's a thing of the past. It don't exist no more. Now, if anything, I think Philly was being innovative in a way, I guess. You have fights happen in every stadium across the NFL, baseball, whatever. We were the only ones smart enough to, I guess, put make make the proper adjustment to it, make make a make a change towards it to where we showed we actually cared. You know, let's get these fools out of here. Let's do something about it. Yeah. All right. Are we loud? Yes. Is this where we get criticized because we're loud? I think the thing is, is people misunderstand a Philly sports fan's passion because that is the best word you can use to describe a Philly sports fan is passionate. Okay? You can't use a better word. So passion, that becomes being vocal. It becomes being, you know, you criticize. You know? People get pissed because we boo a player for taking a playoff or taking a taking a uh, a game off, we boo and we're 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 the bad guy. We're the bad guy. But yet, for some reason, other teams fans can go riot the damn city when they lose a championship game. That's okay. We're the bad guys though, because we are passionate enough. It's like it's like uh, okay. Here's a good example. It's like, it's tough love, man. That's all it is. It's tough love. You show tough love to someone that you know can do better than what they're giving. You show them tough love the best way we can. It's not like we can get out there on the practice fields and help them to practice and, and, and come along that way. No. The only thing we have with any player in Philly is our voice. All right? That's all we have. That's the only thing we can do. So we're vocal. We boo. All right? Right, okay. Ricky Waters. For who? For what? I know at least any uh, Philly Eagles fan would know about that, what I'm talking about. All right? Now, we don't accept players taking a playoff or taking a series off or taking a game off. We, we don't accept it, all right? We want a championship in this town too bad to be able to accept one player taking a taking a playoff. I'm sorry. So is it because we're 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 passionate, we're vocal, we might boo our players every now and then, but it's tough love. It's like you have a little brother, or a little sister, or a bro, you know, daughter or son, whatever. They're trying at something, but they might think that they're giving their all, but they're not. You know, they're not. You gotta show them that tough love, that little foot up their ass to push them along and help them out and get to where they could be, where they're supposed to be. That's what it is. We don't hate our players. We don't dislike our players, even though there are very there there are some exceptions to that. But it's not like most would think. Alright? You know what? Here's the question I'm gonna propose to anybody that's not a Philly fan. Because I, 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 I can honestly care less of the generalized opinion and reputation of a Philly fan. I can honestly care less because I'm going to do what I, I do regardless. And, and anybody else I know, they're going to do what they're going to do regardless of somebody else's opinion. But I'm just curious. What is it about a Philly sports fan that gives us our bad rep? I mean, I've, I've touched all three that I, that, you know, the three, three things that I always hear. We boot Santa Claus. All right. He was a drunk. Whatever. I already told you about that. All right. We're loud. We're, 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 we're vocal. We're passionate. All right. We're passionate. The Eagles are like family. Are you kidding me? We're not going to defend family? Okay. 
the vet. It has it had a jail cell. Well, we're, we, the way I look at it, we were being innovative. Everything. I think New York should have followed. Chicago should have followed. Buffalo should have followed. I mean, you know, seriously. You, you, you people complain about these asshole fans, drunks or whatever. Follow the lead. That's all I'm saying. So there's my question. What is it about Philly fans that are just so downright wrong and rude? Because I'm gonna tell you what. The same things you hear about Philly, they happen everywhere. All right, they happen everywhere. You have drunk fans everywhere. You have fights in every stadium. You know, you have loud people in every parking lot tailgating. It's it's the same everywhere. It really is. I've been in other places. I know. All right, I went to a Washington Nationals game for God's sakes last year, where these fucking assholes thought that they were about something and tried to talk trash. Come on. Video's going long enough. That's all I got. You know the routine. Peace out, bitches. Go birds.